thanks for stopping by Outdoors with Don and Bob. Today we're going to be setting out some mineral licks for the deer. Uh, usually we try to start this in February or March. We find they really start using the licks early in the season, so you want to get them out as quick as you can. We used to put out salt blocks and mineral blocks like a lot of people do, but a few years ago we found a recipe that's been real successful for us. Basically it's a three-part recipe. It's one part dicalcium phosphate, one part stock salt, and two parts trace mineral. Now the dicalcium phosphate is a little harder to find. That's a dairy feed additive. A matter of fact, when I found it, I had to get monocalcium phosphate. It's close enough, it does the same thing. But your dicalcium phosphate or monocalcium phosphate, that's the important part because it'll help with your lactating does producing milk and it's gonna help with your bucks and your antler development. So we're gonna set some out here. Uh, we got a couple places. We got to, we're going to start some new spots, and then we've got an old lick we're going to go back to. So stick with us. Hi, we're down here on the river bottom. Uh, we got some trails running up here. We got one up over there, and we're going to put a mineral lick in right here and hope we can start drawing the deer down in through here. And we might put a blind up in there somewhere for uh, next fall. I think I'll try it right in here. Yeah, we're uh, seems like this. Bare dirt for some reason seems like it tracks deer, so we want to make kind of a nice little area here. Nothing else gives me something to do. There you go. We did one of these in last year. The deer really hit it pretty good, so we're gonna probably put two or three more out this year. Well, guys, here's a mineral location that's gonna be on this third year. As you can see, they'll dig a pretty deep hole to get into that stuff. As a matter of fact, I've got some pictures I'll put on the video here that shows uh, some of the deer and stuff that come by. We'll always try to keep a trail camera going. Uh, I had a little show in this location. You can see we've set a feeder up out here. In behind that is a food plot. Uh, right up close here, we had a food plot of some alfalfa a few years ago, we, or clover, we did a few years ago. As you can see back, that was corn. Uh, we're going to be putting a new food plot back in there. I won't get into specifics now because we'll be doing a video on that and you can see that when the time comes. So that's about it for the mineral. Uh, on to something else. There you go, first shed of the year. Hey, there's a little bonus for doing minerals. Yeah, there we yeah. go. Mineral, mineral placement and shed hunting at the same time. Yeah, maybe some <laughs> trout fishing later. There you go. That's what we're here for. Ooh, that looks a little fat too. There huh. we go. We got belly on that. There we go. Now we give him another trout. Well, I love them treble hooks, don't you? Got him out. There we go. There you go, buddy. Not a bad fish. A lot of fun to catch. Looking good, number three for the day. Yeah, that's it, yeah. I missed one down there, but where you are.
There we go. There we go, buddy. There we go. Another nice little trout. There we go. About the same as the others. Well guys, that's going to do us for today. Uh, we got our mineral licks put out. I think I believe I said earlier, down in the description I'll have the three components again to use for the, your mineral lick. I found a shed while we were out messing around and we even went and caught a few fish. So, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you like us, subscribe to the channel if you would. We'll be having more videos as we go along. So, thanks again for stopping by.